Hello, welcome in. My name is Erin. I go by Punky Dumplin' just about everywhere, and let's get into the video. So, today we are working on a sticker design that I did of one of my original characters. His name is On. He is the main character of my story. And I'm having to rewrite the script on it again because I changed the major plot points because I can't leave well enough alone. But it's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll get through it eventually, someday. Anyway, so I decided to, I did this quick little sketch of this guy in my sketchbook and I really liked the idea so I took the sketch, moved it into Clip Studio Paint and decided to make this sticker. He's part of a three three character set. Um, I have two other characters, they were already finished, but I figured he would be fun to do a quick little recording of. And I will say that this is an interesting thing for me because I am primarily a traditional artist. I prefer to do traditional art, I am quicker with traditional art, I usually work with Copics or colored pencils or oil paints, I struggle bust through the watercolors, but I still do it. But anyway, so I still primarily do traditional artwork and I do kind of prefer it. But I have been working in digital for a long time. So I started working with Photoshop 7 back in 2004 when I was about 16, 17? No, 15, 16. I was in that age range. And I did not have a pen tablet or anything like that. I did it all with a mouse. I remember scouring the internet because this was before YouTube where all the tutorials finally ended up happening and I had to go through hundreds of websites to try and find ways to make my traditional ink work and stuff like that go into Photoshop. I did end up making it work but it was really tedious and cumbersome and so I was eh about it until I got to college and the first big upgrade for me with digital artwork was using a pen tablet for the first time. I will say getting to work with a pen tablet for the first time was absolutely mind-blowing. My 18 year old brain was absolutely melting at the ability to actually do what I wanted to do with my art and having pen pressure sensitivity and being able to work like I actually paint even though it was still staring at a screen it, it was much quicker much fun, much more fun and I was really starting to enjoy the process of doing digital art much more especially throughout college um, <clears throat> after college I kind of went back into doing more traditional art mostly because for quite a while I was without a computer but I got a new computer I would say about five years back and finally started doing digital artwork again and I I still I, I still struggled at that point because I had I had a very difficult time sketching digitally. Like sketching for me was just incredibly uh, cumbersome, painful. I didn't ever like how the sketches looked. And I think a lot of that had to do with the disconnect with hand-eye coordination because I was still using the pen tablet at the time. And it took me probably, I would say the last four years of consistently sketching in Photoshop and then later in Clip Studio Paint for me to finally get to a point where I could start doing pieces from beginning to end in digital instead of 
traditionally drawing and inking and then and then coloring in digital. I will say one of the biggest changes I had was uh, last year I moved from working in Photoshop into Clip Studio Paint because Photoshop was just getting a little bit too expensive y'all and I just did not want to continue paying $50 a month for a for essentially two programs because I was primarily just using Photoshop and Illustrator at the time. So I moved into Clip Studio Paint and I will say that was a learning curve. It was just similar enough to Photoshop to kind of screw me up and what they don't tell you is when you've spent 15 years working in one program and you've been adjusting to the way they do things for 15 years, it takes a lot of effort to try and relearn essentially a new medium because a new program is like a new medium it's you know the difference between going from oils to acrylics at least in my personal opinion but it took me a while to get used to clip studio paint but now that i am more comfortable in clip studio paint i very much prefer it to photoshop it's way more intuitive for artists and stuff like that and there are things I miss about Photoshop but I am perfectly fine not having it at the moment so I will say there are things that I really do love about digital one of the things about digital is there's no such thing as a permanent mistake and you know you can redraw that line like 58 times and i will say that i may or may not have an unhealthy relationship with the undo button specifically when it's when i'm inking i do a little bit when i'm also doing color but i think inking is where i am the worst at it um I also like the fact that it's a lot easier to flip the canvas to see what you're doing right and doing wrong with the piece. And there, there's a lot of things that I really do prefer about digital. Things that I actually prefer with traditional is, like I said before, I'm actually quicker when it comes to doing traditional work and I think it's because I focused more on it in the 30 plus years that I've been drawing so it's just something that I am more naturally attuned to. There's also a certain level of finality about working in traditional and getting one shot to make those inks work. And I, I really do enjoy the process of doing traditional artwork and spending the time rendering in, especially in Copics because there's they are less forgiving than you would think but I I would say I probably will end up using both equally and I do plan on learning more about animating in clip studio paint that's gonna take a little bit because I have a massive to-do list but we'll get there we'll get there eventually I will finish something but Anyway, I do hope to get myself more into doing things like animation in, uh, in Clip Studio Paint because their animation feature is much more intuitive than, than Photoshop's was. I even had a person <laughs> come in while I was working in Photoshop and animating in Photoshop because I animated like all of my Twitch animations in Photoshop because I am a glutton for punishment and that's just what I do. And he actually ended up paying for a month of, photo of uh, the Creative Cloud for me just so that I would stop animating in Photoshop. But I do plan on working on that more. I, I am hoping that I will be doing my comic entirely digitally once we get to that point i'm hoping for the next month i will get to do lots of work in my comic i have a prequel comic that i am currently done thumbnailing 
and I cannot wait to show everybody what it is I'm going to be working on. For me, the month, the month of October is going to be working on that specific prequel comic, and I'm hoping that it ends up turning out really nice. Uh, I also hope that, you know, I get more comfortable with digital so that I can start getting faster with digital, because right now the biggest thing for me is digital takes me a long time. It takes me a lot longer to do digital than it takes me to do traditional, and I feel like that's kind of cumbersome, and as I'm a woman with very limited time, I really need to figure out how to work smarter and not harder. All of these years, and I tell you what, I still have issues. But, anyway... Do let me know what you guys prefer about traditional versus digital artwork. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not, I, I don't get, I don't subscribe to the traditional versus, traditional is better than digital or digital is better than traditional. I think they're both incredibly difficult mediums to get the hang of and each of them takes serious amounts of skill. And I'm the person who's lagging behind on digital right now, so I know how hard it is because I'm, I'm still, I'm still learning. 33 years old and I'm still learning. It's all good though. So, anyway, yeah, do tell me what you guys prefer about traditional versus digital. And I will say the big thing that has helped me the most in terms of working on my digital artwork was this year I finally got a screen tablet and that has definitely upped my production speeds. I'm still slow, but I am a lot faster than I was, I would say, six months ago before I got the tablet. So I'm excited because I'm, I'm, I've got tools now that are going to make it easier for me to do my job and get it done and I hope that you guys will get to come hang out with me while I do stupid things so anyway we're about we're mostly done with the video so just so you guys know I am I stream on twitch for the most part if you want to come see me live on twitch I stream uh, Thursday through Sunday in the evenings, Pacific Standard Time. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, even though I don't do anything on Twitter, or if you want to look at my store on Etsy where hopefully the stickers will be available soon, I have to get them ordered and sent in, but I'm excited for when they get done so that I can put them up and put them for sale. If you want to follow me anywhere that, like that, all of the links are down in the description below. If you want to like and subscribe, that is awesome. If not, that's cool. And honestly, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I will talk to y'all later.